taking the first free to Meade. Meade playing with the breeze. Whatever breeze that's in it, Meade have it in this first half. Not a great one. Picked up there very quickly there by Mick Ryan. And Mick Ryan, a good shot. Confusion in the Dublin goal area and the ball is in the net. And that's a great start for Meade. Steve Rooney swings this one in, looks a good one and sends it over the bar that's a very good point by Stephen Rooney ball breaks the centre field grab by Pat McManus that's a weak one Pat Cullen gets it out Ken Rennix has it for me Kenix he's still going through tries a shot, sends it over the bar Where's there and it's Brian Mullins for Dublin. Dublin everywhere at the moment. Here they come. To David Hickey. He tries a shot. Sent the high. Sent the the bar. Dublin stretching the lead. One third. Mickey Fay trying to chase this one. He keeps it in play. But Driscoll will bring him down if he can to keep it in play. Fay tries the high one, sends it high, swinging very well, swings over the bar, a good point by Mickey Fay. Georgie Wilson, taking the free. He belts it well in. Jimmy Keeley punching the head. All oh, roller Giles, he gets his hand to it now. He let it slip. Harry Riley breaking it down for Anton O'Toole. Anton tries a shot, sends it high, looks good, sends it over the bar. Anton O'Toole, the scorer, and it's Dublin 114, Mead 19, just coming up to full time, and that certainly wraps it up for Dublin and gives them that passage to the All Ireland semi final for the first time since 1965. And there goes the final whistle, and Dublin Ireland's the winners.